Sandra's, played by Joanne Mitchell, motive for being back in Immerdale was exposed this week as she explained she wanted to rinse her daughter, Liv Flaherty, Isabel Steele, for all the money she's got. Vinnie Dingle, Bradley Johnson, is particularly skeptical about his mother-in-law but his wife wants to help the villain and has even mangled to get her a job at the salon. However, the young woman could soon learn she is not blood-related to Sandra at all as a disturbing story from the past is unraveled on the ITV soap. With Sandra disowning her daughter when she suffered an epileptic attack last year and now wanting to take all of her money, many have doubted her abilities as a mother. This could be because she is not Liv's mother at all and the youngster only came into her life through the means of a deal. The villain has already shown she is not opposed to a scheme or two but she could have got her hands on Liv after her relationship with Gordon Livesey, Gary Mavers, hit several hurdles. Worried he was going to leave her, Sandra could have lied to him and told her husband she was pregnant with his child. Unable to leave his partner, Gordon could have stayed to fulfill his responsibilities as a father but he might not have realized she wasn't his daughter. Throughout her fake pregnancy, Sandra could have been wearing different shaped bumps to make it seem as if she was carrying a baby. Whereas, away from the family home, the villain could have arranged to buy a baby from a mother who didn't want her child. The pair could have met at an antenatal class, with Sandra going along to keep up the pretense she was having a baby. After talking with the woman who was struggling to accept she was going to be a single mother, Sandra could have put some money on the table in exchange for the baby. When the woman went into labor, the villain would have claimed she was going to visit a family member before returning with her daughter in tow. With Gordon now dead and live a grown woman, Sandra doesn't need to keep up the pretense anymore and so she has used her connection to her daughter for monetary purposes. However, with someone very likely to find out what she has been up to, she could confess she doesn't care about Liv because she's not her mother. Despite supposedly having a relationship for the past 18 years, the mother and daughter duo could finally go their separate ways. This could begin a new storyline for Liv as she decides she wants to track down her birth mother and get an explanation as to why she was given up. Will it be a joyous moment between the mother and daughter or will the meeting solidify the fact they are two very different people? The actress who plays Sandra, Joanne, has spoken to Express. Co.uk and other media about her character and hinted Liv's relationship with the villain could come under scrutiny. Joanne explained, I think the relationship is there but I think, at the moment, I don't exactly know where it's going. I think Sandra has such an agenda that it's almost like it's blinkered, this is what she's got to get. But I would be really interested to see what is coming up so if there is anything in the future to see that kind of weakness. That vulnerability, if there is one. There's got to be somewhere because at the end of the day, she is a human being. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in East Tenders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Emmerdale Farm? On what day did Hollyoaks air its first episode?
What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in EastEnders? How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air she's not in the right headspace at the moment but itd be lovely because they have got a nice relationship when it's nice, she added. It's few and far between, I guess, at the moment. But the relationship is there, the soap star continued to explain. But could this relationship be destroyed by the realization Liv has been lied to for her entire life by the woman she thought she would have been able to trust? However, Joanne has stated her character is clever and knows how to scheme without being caught out. The actress added, I think Terry's always going to be that, idea of getting caught out, all the way along, I mean she's not stupid. She's watching all the time. She's watching their relationship, she's never seen Liv and Vinny live together before, so she's playing a lot of the time in the moment, Joanne continued. So she's accessing, she's scheming. She's watching how they work together and it could all fall apart, so she has really got to sort of keep it together I think. I think she has to be clever, she's got her main objective but it could all fall apart at any point because Liv could just tell her to go, I think that happens throughout. But Sandra is very persuasive, she's clever. Will Sandra be able to keep Liv on her side even once the truth has been revealed about her parentage? 